truly the focal point. Every touchdown his team has so far has been the result of his arm. How about him throwing it downfield, creating big plays? I don't know how you slow him down unless you can make him uncomfortable in the pocket. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And they open the lead up now to 25. Tyler Bass to kick off for Buffalo. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are right, you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grit. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time is run out on this third quarter of play. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Taken right around the 44. The 41-yard punt, nine on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. left is Davis. It's hauled in by Hardy. 15 yards that time and a Buffalo first. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take a like turtle at this point. You just go ahead and play. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to it behind the line of scrimmage. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. This a quick pass to Davis. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Was that a design pass or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. First down, Brissett. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. 
This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, but after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's gonna have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Washington now gonna use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Under pressure, they got him again. Now Washington gonna use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Here's Hardy set to return. A very good kick there, but 15 yards on the return. And the Bills are going to take over in great position here for the first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They're looking at a third straight win here if they can hold on. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe to get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. It happened in the NFL. The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. That's running out of steam and it won't get there. He left it just short, no good, but that shouldn't matter a great deal as they still lead by a bundle here. Charles, 54 yards, I'm surprised that came up short. I would agree with that one because normally, if he misses, it's accuracy, not length, because he has plenty of leg for that. But maybe it's like I hit my golf shot, you know? Maybe it's like my wedge, you know, when you chili dip and you hit the ground ahead of it, sometimes that'll shorten your distance as well. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Brissett. Tried for Brown, and it's intercepted. Pick made by Terrell Bernard, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. And that one, Charles, is just going to about wrap up what was no doubt a dominating defensive performance. Yeah, I don't care what team it is. I don't care who you play, whether they're strong offensively or not. Just giving up three points in the NFL, that's absolutely a dominant performance and one that they can build on. Buffalo set to get the football back here. Well, they came into this one with a vision, Charles, and it has played out exactly as they had hoped, if not even better. They've got the huge lead here and now the football for the final moments of the fourth. Yeah, and it was apparent that they were the better team, right? We figured that out pretty early. But give them a lot of credit for staying. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Now it's looking incredibly likely to be a 3-0 start to this season. That is obviously excellent. 2-0 is one thing. 3-0, you really have some momentum. And now they're serving notice to the rest of the league that they're a pretty darn good football team. Confident, aggressive, attacking at all times. This looks like a team that you're going to have to deal with. And guess what? Behind closed doors, they're trying to figure out ways to get better. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Well, I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away.
And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Well, once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, what.